organic impacts on the SDGs and the Gross National Happiness Index. This we will do by nesting structures representing key elements of organic agriculture into a multi-sector model, the ISDG model. That this model simulates the progress of all 17 SDGs. We have used the ISDG model for SDG planning in around 15 countries so far. Each of these models included a sector for sustainable agriculture. But in the case of Bhutan, organic agriculture will be our central focus. The SDGs can be thought of as a complex feedback system in which policies have cascading impacts, both favorable and sometimes unfavorable, across the full spectrum of the SDGs. Simulating such a complex system requires a thoroughly integrated model. The diagram shows numerous causal connections and feedback loops emanating from SDG 2, which contains the sustainable agriculture sector, to the other SDGs, and in turn being influenced by changes in the other SDG sectors. A central question in Bhutan is how to promote and incentivize the adoption of organic agriculture. The conceptual diagram you see represents key concepts in the modeling method we use. The rectangles represent state variables. Think of them as reservoirs. The thick pipes represent rates of change. Think of these as inflows and outflows flowing in and out of the reservoirs. The units in the rev reservoirs are people. The units in the flows are people per year. The blue arrows are causal connections that influence the flows. Taken as a whole, the diagram represents the broad outlines of a systems hypothesis of how the adoption of organic agriculture might occur. The orange reservoir on the left contains farmers practicing traditional methods, not the advanced organic methods that the government seeks to promote. These traditional farmers are influenced by promotion, availability of training and technology for organic production, and by their expectations of profitability or benefit uh, in terms of monetary earnings and food security. Who will do the promotion? We expect this to be a combination of government and private sector entities. Some of these farmers adopt organic methods and enter a phase of training and transition to obtain organic certification. This requires time. After they obtain certification, they can sell their produce as certified organic and hopefully obtain a higher price for their produce. Note that if organic agriculture does not continue to be profitable, some farmers may revert back to traditional agriculture. There is a feedback loop shown, the adoption feedback loop. This drives adoption by word of mouth and the social phenomena of doing as your neighbors. Over time, this feedback loop is expected to be the principal driver of adoption. This structure is known as diffusion of innovation. 